नमस्कार बोजूर एंड वेलकम टू आर चैनल इंडियंस कलियापा इन फ्रांस सो टुडे द टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड हैज बीन आस्ड बाय ऑलमोस्ट एवरीबडी ऑल इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स द टॉपिक इज पार्ट टाइम जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन फ्रांस सो टुडे आई विल शेयर सम ऑफ द जॉब्स विच आर वेरी मच पॉपुलर इन फ्रांस फॉर इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स फॉर एनी अदर स्टूडेंट्स हु वॉन्ट्स टू अर्न Uh, who wants to have some side income or just wants to get some experience so first thing which i would like to suggest is do not start jumping off to applying for jobs once you come here for example if you come here in september don't start searching the same time you know get some time get to know about the country get to know about what uh, specific fields are very much important what uh, which uh, jobs are in market etc now the first one which is very popular is working in restaurants especially indian restaurants because uh, we can speak hindi and english and tamil or other languages and in france in paris especially we have an uh, locality an area called the indian area which is actually not india but it is almost uh, sri lanka bangladesh pakistan and india as well so there we have restaurants uh, so as a student we can go and try to find jobs which is not very much tough to get and the peak seasons are from september till december then from uh, april may june like that and during the vacation time that is july and august so the first one is restaurants <clears throat> the second one is the french restaurants and cafeterias i will personally suggest to go and start working or search work in a french cafeteria or a french restaurant because you will get a uh, extra income second you will also learn the language which is one of the best way to learn a language because when you speak you you get used to the words you you get used to the words you can listen the same words again and again and that's how you can memorize everything and you it will be very um it will be very flexible it will be very easy for you to communicate in future which will eventually help you to find a proper job and settle in france if you want to the best which is called the babysitting now there are french families there are indian families as well so all the french families they would like to have a babysitter a nunu who can uh, speak english and also if you know a little basic french you can speak to their kids which is especially as the college timings here are not very much flexible it fluctuates every week so the babysitting is one of the best option actually because it starts after 4:30 pm and until 7 or 7:30 pm not more than that and you can do this every uh, every day Uh, it will be like a weekly job for you not on weekends no saturday no sunday that is a drawback in restaurants and cafeterias because in restaurant and cafeterias you have to be available on the weekends you get off uh, you get two weekly offs in during the week mostly but in babysitting the weekends are completely off for you so you best part about babysitting job is you get to know the words how they pronounce from the small kids and the small kids here they use very very uh, easy words very easy words to communicate between each other so you can grasp that words and you can utilize it in future so that is one of the best and especially yes with kids it is always fun you can teach english to them you can you can uh, take 5 minute session you can have 15 to 20 minute session every day for for you to teach some basic english words to them and to get some uh, french words to learn the fourth one is teaching english in some of the public or private uh, schools because there are some uh, links there are some companies there are some private organizations which teach english to the small kids to the they teach english to kids from 4 years up to 12 years etc they have a list of public schools and private schools and you can apply to the jobs of their companies you can talk to them and you can give some basic interview but make sure your english should be good good enough for the students to understand so there are some private institutions in france uh, who can uh, with whom you can have a contract which cannot which is a 
part time contract and they call you and they give you one hour or one and a half hour of class and they send you to some public university uh, some public school or some private school and you just have to uh, you just have to uh, go according to their agenda the the contents which they have given to you and you just have to teach the basic english to the small kids this is also one of the best but the only uh, the only drawback here is many a times it happens that the small kids they are not so much aware of the basic english and then it is difficult for them to understand exactly what you are trying to say and they will raise questions and of course it will be in french so make sure you should be at least having the knowledge of basic french when you come to france and the last one is your university because all the universities need some type of assistant work some administrative work because this is september will be coming soon and there will be so many students international students uh, students national students from different cities different countries here they are coming maybe the european students or any other, from any other place so they want they want some people who can help them and support them during this administrative task so you can any time you can first go to your college or your university and ask if they have some profile for you maybe you can work uh, maybe you have classes in the morning and in the evening time you can work for 2 hours every day you might work in the library you can work in the uh, depends on your field if you are from it background you can help you can ask that if you can help them in the it sector in the library sector in the technician area something like that so you can consult with your university as well and definitely they are going to help you because it is beneficial for them so the part time jobs which are very famous here in france are first restaurant jobs in indian restaurants mostly second restaurants like uh, french restaurants or french cafeterias third is babysitting you can definitely do babysitting it is one of the best option to learn the language get some money and the fourth one is to teach english so there are some institutions there are some private institutions which help you do that you have to google search it and the fifth one is your own university so do try and check all these resources when you want to apply for jobs and as i said don't jump on to job opportunities because here there are many con people there are many people who wants to take advantage of you and wants to have money from you they will say that yes i will tell you i will refer you to some jobs you just have to transfer this much euros etc etc one suggestion never transfer money to somebody whom you don't know whom you haven't spoken with so i think the main questions would be who all can work and how many hours you can work and how much we will be paid so the first is all the students can work as part time so you can work some part time hours during the week and on weekends you might be working full day so it can be from minimum 20 to 25 hours per week now the average hourly rate here is 9.67 euros but after deducting the tax of vat etc it comes to around 8 euros or 7 and 1/2 euros but it is still a good amount so if you are working from 20 to 25 hours per week then you will be earning at least 700 euros per month as a part time actually guys we do not need any type of uh, work permit to do this part time jobs because we are students we are international students and we all are allowed to work part time 20 to 25 hours maximum for the year it is around 964 hours which has not changed from some time now so that's all guys uh, today was for part time job opportunities also this is a time to apply for visa for france student visa so i have shared the links what documents you require for your uh, student visa for france and what you have to do as soon as you come to france please do not post uh, an essay on instagram because it is very difficult for me to respond to each and every one so just send if you have a long query just send an email i might take some time but i will reply properly if you send me on instagram i get confused because it's my personal instagram and i have linked it with the 
uh, with the YouTube channel. So I get all type of queries. So you can either you can send the long query, you can send it via email and the normal queries like what type of weather is there, etc. The, the small queries, you can just post it on Instagram or you can write below in the comments. And that's all. I hope to see some of you soon here in France. And if anybody wants to come here and talk to me, have a coffee, we can definitely go. It will be beautiful weather very soon. So do not worry and take care, be careful with whom you talk, with whom you share your personal details, your professional details. That's all. So, aaj ke liye, alvida, namaskar and ciao.